Stark has officially dropped the next-gen version of their electric motocross weapon, the Varg MX 1.2. And no, this isn't just a mild refresh, this is a serious upgrade. We're talking longer range, smarter tech, and yes, it still holds the crown as the most powerful electric dirt bike in the world right now. The development process went far beyond surface-level tweaks. It was shaped by real racing experience from all over the globe, with two-time world champion Sebastian Tortelli now heading Stark's racing division. According to him, this isn't about jumping on trends, it's about redefining what an electric motocross bike can do. Performance-wise, the bike remains as wild and brutal as its predecessor. Power can be adjusted in real time, anywhere from 10 to 80 horsepower, depending on the track, the rider's style, or how hard they want to push. The standard version comes with 60 horsepower, while the Alpha delivers a full 80 horsepower. All settings are controlled through a handlebar-mounted touchscreen called the Arkenstone, a command center right at your fingertips. The Arkenstone isn't just a display, it's a ruggedized Android smartphone custom-built to fully integrate with the bike systems, a new laps feature uses GPS to track lap times, positions, and even real-time course navigation directly on the bike. And this technology upgrade isn't limited to just the new model, first-gen Varg owners will get it too via software update. Battery capacity has also been upgraded from 6.5 to 7.2 kilowatt hours, boosting range by up to 20%. The battery is housed in a magnesium honeycomb structure that reduces weight while doubling as a structural part of the chassis. Despite weighing just 118 kilograms, the bike puts out 80 horsepower and nearly 1,000 newton meters of torque at the rear wheel. No surprise that MX icon Kevin Windham calls it the future of motocross. The chassis now features a new lightweight alloy steel twice as strong as traditional chromoly frames typically used by European manufacturers. Suspension duties are handled by KOIB, offering 310 millimeters of travel. Buyers can also select spring stiffness based on their weight or riding style at checkout, a level of personalization that no other manufacturer is offering right now. Every small detail has been refined with purpose, the wiring is now neatly hidden, there's a biodegradable skid plate built to take abuse, and the chain guide has been redesigned to be 266% stiffer with just a 7% weight increase, smart engineering choices all around. For riders who love to personalize, the Varg MX 1.2 delivers serious flexibility. The rear brake can be set up either with a foot pedal or handlebar lever. There's even a titanium bolt kit available that shaves off up to 900 gram. Seats come in three grip levels, standard, grip, and super grip. Tires can be configured with Dunlop MX-34 or Pirelli MX-32, with tube or moose options depending on preference. The low maintenance nature of this bike might be its biggest long tate or win. With no pistons, clutches, or air filters to worry about, upkeep is minimal. Over time, the Varg MX 1.2 could save riders up to $5,000 in maintenance costs compared to a typical 450cc gas bike. And it's backed by a full two-year warranty, a bold move rarely seen in the off-road segment. The bike is now available globally. The 60 horsepower standard model starts at 10,490 pounds, and the 80 horsepower Alpha comes in at 11,490 pounds. Orders can be placed directly through Stark Futures' official website or through their dealer network, which now spans over 500 locations worldwide. In the end, the Varg MX 1.2 isn't just a high-tech electric dirt bike, it's a machine built with rider input, tested on real tracks, and designed for those chasing peak performance, without the usual maintenance drama. It's not just the future of motocross, it's already redefining what's possible in the sport. So, what do you think? Is it finally time for electric bikes to go mainstream in the off-road world? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video.